Hi everyone and welcome to today's summer solstice preparation class. So if you've heard of the summer solstice, it is June the 20th and that is typically a day that yogis around the world celebrate the summer solstice by doing 108 sun salutations. Yes, you heard me correctly, 108 sun salutations. So obviously you don't wanna just jump into that lightly. You need to do some training and some practice to make sure that your body and your mind are ready for that undertaking. So today's practice is really getting you geared up for the summer solstice. And the summer solstice means a lot of things, but it is basically an honoring of the sun um, and the earth. So if you want to learn a little bit more about the summer solstice, check out in the description. I'll give you a good rundown of what the summer solstice is and the different meanings. But basically what you need to know about today's practice is we are working on, you guessed it, sun salutations. I'll also be putting in uh, up in the picture in the corner a couple of easier variations for sun salutations if you're somebody who isn't able to go on your wrists so there'll be a standing only version of the sun salutation that you can follow along with and also throughout the practice there'll be some easier options should you need to get there all right let's get started <music> So finding a place just to stand at the top of your mat. And for today's summer solstice preparation class, we're gonna be moving through a total of 20 sun salutations. And at the end of the practice, I will teach you how to build onto that so that you're ready and prepared for the summer solstice of 108 sun salutations on June the 20th. Just taking a moment to catch our breath, to set our intention, to quiet our mind. And we'll begin with nice, easy, gentle sun salutations, really taking our time for the first five. Release the palms, inhale, reach up and stretch overhead, maybe back bending. Exhale as you soften the knees and swan dive forward. Bow your head, drop your chin. Inhale, come up partway lifting, sliding the hands up around the shins. And then reaching down for the floor, stepping or hopping back into a plank position. From knees or from toes, lowering yourself down to the mat. Inhale for cobra. And we're just keeping this nice and gentle here, warming up the body. Eyes lifting, shoulders drawing back. Release and flatten. Press up and back from knees or toes to downward facing dog. Shifting the hips back. Softening the knees here. Relaxing your neck. Rooting all of your knuckles into the mat. Look to your hands. Stepping or hopping there. Exhale as you relax your head and neck. Inhale, big strong breath, come all the way up to the top as your eyes lift up, your chest lifts up. Bring your hands back to your heart. As we take a second round, inhale, lift the arms. And exhale, pour forward. Inhale, lifting slightly, flatten your back. Exhale as you reach for the floor, stepping back. Lowering, elbow squeeze by the sides. Turn the toes and inhale for cobra. Elbows draw in by the sides. Exhale, release and press up to downward dog as you draw your belly button in and up towards your heart. Look to your hands, stepping there. Relax your back, lower your head, soften your knees. Inhale, big breath, come all the way up, nice and tall. And from here, exhale, swan dive back down. Inhale, lengthen. And exhale as you reach for the floor, step back. Melt. Inhale for cobra, press your toes down, lifting one vertebrae at a time, and this should feel gentle. 
exhale, release. Press up and back to downward facing dog. Looking to your hands, stepping there. Exhale, fold. Inhale, swoop to come all the way up. And exhale as you release, fold back down. Lengthening your back, eyes look just forward. Reaching for your mat, coming to a high push-up or a plank. Lower from knees or toes. Inhale, shine your heart forward. And exhale, press up and back to downward facing dog. Tipping the sitting bones high to the roof. Look to your hands, inhale, step up, flatten your back. And exhale as you fold down. Inhale, big breath, come all the way up. Taking one more sun salutation here, exhale, fold down. And then we're moving into a little break. Inhale, lifting part way. And exhale, release, step back, melting down. Inhale, turn the toes for cobra. And exhale, release to downward facing dog. Looking to your hands, inhale, step up, flat back, and exhale, soften the knees, hang forward. Inhale, big breath, come all the way high as you bring your hands down to your heart. Resting here for a moment. At the end of practice, I'll also be laying out some strategies to help you on your journey of finishing the whole 108 sun salutations and they don't need to all be in a row. You can take breaks, spread them throughout the day. You could even celebrate a solstice week and finish them in a week's time. But as we move through this training, making sure that you're working at your level, not overdoing it, you can always hit the pause button and come back to the practice. Be sure to listen to your body, modify when needed by going to your knees, choosing one of the easier options, either hands-free or just an easier sun salutation where we're taking out some of the hard parts. Perfect, let's move on to the next five sun salutations. Release the palms, inhale, sweep up and overhead. And exhale, fold front. Cascade over your thighs, soft knees. Inhale, lengthen back. Exhale, coming to plank, melting down. Turn your toes in, inhale for cobra. Or this could be upward facing dog, if your practice allows for that. But remember, you're training for 108, maybe 108 all with upward dog might be unrealistic. Release and press to downward facing dog. Breathe. Looking to your hands, hopping or stepping there. Exhale, relax your back, lower your head. Inhale, big breath, come all the way up. And exhale, swan dive forward. As we move through some silence here, I'll be cueing very little. Inhale, lift. Continue with your sun salutation. Inhale, lift to come all the way up. That's a second one. Exhale as you swan dive back down. Perfect inhale, coming back to the top. And exhale, swan diving down for number four of five.
Inhale, big breath, come all the way up. Cueing through the fifth one, exhale as you swan dive downward. Inhale, lengthen your back, eyes looking forward, collarbones open, reaching for your mat, stepping back, melting down from knees or toes. Inhale, heart lifts. Exhale, release to down facing dog. Perfect. From here, you're going to take your knees gently down to your mat. Come on to your tummy. And we're going to rest for a few breaths in crocodile breath. So allow your head to come down. Breathing deeply into your whole torso here. Feel your tummy against the floor. Feel the breath moving into your back. Good, and we're slowly going to carry on with our practice. Feel happy that we're halfway through today's sudden summer solstice preparation class. Find your way into downward dog. Stepping up to our hands. Relax your back, lower your head. Inhale, big breath, come all the way up. Bring your hands down to your heart. As we prepare to move through the third of four rounds of five sun salutations. Release the palms, inhale, sweep up and overhead. Exhale, hinge at the hip as you fold over your thighs. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, release, step back, lowering. Inhale, taking cobra or upward facing dog. Lift your chin and eyes, release, and press to downward facing dog. Trying to push all of your knuckles into the mat. Knees are soft, sits bones are lifted. Your neck is long and loose. You could tip your ear to the side and touch your arm bone for good alignment. Look to your hands, stepping there. Exhale as you fold deeper. Inhale, lift to come up and rise up. Taking the next few salutations at your own pace. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rising up to the top. And exhale as you pour back down. Inhale, big breath, come all the way up. That's three done. Exhale as you swan dive down for number four. Aiming to keep a fairly steady rhythm, a fairly steady pace. Inhale, come all the way up. Taking our fifth one here. Exhale, pour back down. Inhale, eyes look ahead. Exhale as you find your way into plank. 
lowering, choosing a back bend here. Press your toes down, draw your shoulders back. Release, lift to downward facing dog. Adho Mukha Svanasana. Breathe. Take your knees back down to your mat here. Taking our little break in child's pose. So bringing your forehead down, resting it on the mat, your hands. Slowly coming back up. As we're nearly done now, we've got five sun salutations left. Pressing back to downward facing dog. Looking to your hands, stepping there. Exhale, fold down. Inhale, big breath, come all the way high. And here we go. Exhale, swan dive down. Lengthen and lift your back. Release, reaching for your mat. Lowering. Inhale, back bend. Exhale, press and lift to downward dog. Shifting the hips way back and up. Look to your hands, inhale, step forward. Exhale, relax, fold, melt down. Inhale, big breath, come all the way high and exhale, heading back down. Inhale, lift, and exhale, release. Lowering. Inhale, peel from the floor. Flattening, pressing back to downward dog. Eyes looking to hands, stepping forward. Release your head and neck as you fold down. Inhale, big breath, swoop up, eyes up, chin up, lift up. Exhale, heading down for number three. Inhale, long back. Releasing, reaching for your mat. Easing yourself down, strong through the core here. Turn the toes in, inhale, lift your heart. Exhale, press to downward dog. We're nearly there, you're doing amazing. Look to your hands, stepping forward. Exhale, fold. Inhale, big breath, swoop high. Taking our last two, folding to the front. Bow your head. Inhale, lift and look. Exhale as you step back and keep exhaling as you lower. Inhale to back bend. Exhale as you press to downward facing dog. Looking to your hands, stepping there. Exhale, release. Inhale, big breath, come all the way up. And we've got one glorious salutation left. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lifting. And exhale, releasing. Lowering down. Inhale as you peel from the floor and exhale as you release, press up and back to downward facing dog. Look to your hands, step to the top. Exhale, relax and melt. Inhale, big breath, come all the way high. Bring your hands to your heart. Feeling gratitude that you have made it to the end of 20. And if you can complete 20 sun salutations, you can make it all the way to 108 if you put the practice in. And don't let that scare you. This might be you practicing for next year's summer solstice. 
but you can get there. And like I said, check out at the end of this video, there's a training plan that can help you work your way up to 108 by using today's practice as your guide and just building from there. Also know, like I mentioned at the beginning, it doesn't have to all be in a row. So it's setting some realistic goals from yourself on what completing 108 looks like for you. Maybe it's all at once through one day, maybe it's spread over the whole week. If you do have any questions, please feel free to drop them in the comments and I can help you along. If you enjoyed today's practice and you're up for the challenge of doing 108, I should see you in this practice often and I'll see you on June 20th during the summer solstice. Thank you so much for joining me today. Namaste.